Hello, and in today's video, we're going to talk about what's new in Notebook 15.2. Um, we are going to focus uh, strictly on the features that are in Notebook 15.2. Uh, with this release, there were some updates to Smart Inc. Um, we're going to focus on that in a different video later on. Uh, the first feature I want to talk about is probably one of my, it's probably the, my favorite new feature, uh, probably one of my top new features in Notebook altogether. Um, and it's in a, it's a YouTube embedder. Um, it's going to be over here in our add-ons tab, so our puzzle piece. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll see down here we have YouTube. So when I go ahead and click on that, if I've already got the link to my YouTube video, so I've been out on the web, did a search and found it, I can paste it here, and I'll insert the video into the notebook file, or I can do a YouTube safe search by just clicking search. Our box comes up here, and let's say I want to do space. So I'll do a search on space, and we get our different videos. And then what I can do here is I can play these ahead of time and kind of preview and see what they're all about. So I'll click on this first one. And I get a preview here of this video. It pulls up so I can watch it, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And let's say I like this video and I want to insert it or any of these videos. I just go ahead and click on them and go ahead in here and hit Add Video. So now the video comes, and comes up here on my notebook page. Now, one thing to keep in mind, these are embed uh, embedded videos. So you still do need to have an internet connection and you got to have an unfiltered uh, access to YouTube to still play these videos. So keep that in mind if you're going to use these in your classroom. The rest of our features here, we're going to focus on lab. Um, these are going to be some upgrades to lab, which is our magic hat up here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the first new activity that was added into lab here. And this one's speed up. What this is, this is kind of like a quiz game. Uh, for students, you can have uh, groups of students or individual students up at your uh, your board or your display. Um, you can have up to one to four groups. So I'll kind of show you this activity because when you build it, it just yeah, it answer asks for questions um, and for answers because it's all multiple choice. And then you can also pick how long they have to answer the question. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start, and I pick how many teams or individuals. So in this case, I'm just going to pick two. And I'm gonna go ahead and I gotta pick an animal that represents the team here. And our race is gonna go ahead and get started. And you can have up to 10 questions and uh, for each question there's these little arrows or speed bumps as I call them, um, that are gonna get you uh, there. And each speed bump brings you up to a question. So it's gonna, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer wrong here and right here so you can see what happens. And get started again. We'll see our wrong answer kind of spins out there, so our right answer kind of gets a lead. And goes to the next question. So the more questions you have, the more often it stops, obviously. And so I only have two questions in this activity. So I'm going to answer wrong here again and right. And they're going to race here to the finish line because I said we only have two questions. And we have our dragon as the winner here. Um, it's going to pull up here how we did, how fast we answered our questions, how many right and wrong, and we can review our answers. So that's the new speed up activity. The other activity added to lab this time is label reveal. So what you do here is you just in, you upload an image um, into lab, and then you tell it where you want your spots to be here, um, and then you reveal. So in this case, we're talking about the continents. So I'm going to go ahead and click, you know, we get North America, you know, South America. Um, we keep going. If I click on them again, they disappear. So it helps with discussion, uh, you know, labeling. You do it as a little quiz if you wanted, um, you know, test your students uh, in the class and, you know, reveal to show the answer. So that's label reveal. And our other lab upgrade uh, this time was um, there's a lot of new, I shouldn't say a lot, but there's some new, uh, themes. So we have, there's a dragon and knight theme. Um, there's a beekeeper theme, but then there's also this uh, plane theme. And what this does, this helps, uh, you know, some of the themes, uh, you know, might not fit your lesson uh, quite well, um, but we, so there's this new plane theme. And what this does is if you've already had a theme going through your presentation or you already have some background color selected things of that nature this actually mimics your background color so if i go ahead and click then i go to change the background to a solid fill and you'll see here i pick blue if i pick green 
Um, so it helps keep your activity, uh, you know, in with the rest of the theme of your presentation. So um, these are the new features in Notebook 15.2. Uh, so thank you very much.